so I already have my foundation on and my eyelid primer. So we're going to take the palette, and this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. It's really pretty. So we can take this color right here, which is the eyelid color, and I am going to place this all over my lid. It's just a pretty champagne color, kind of like a rose gold color. It's really beautiful. And these palettes are so pigmented. I um, was pleasantly surprised. I just purchased this. This is my second purchase because I first purchased the Walking on Eggshells one and now this one. And I really, really like them. I mean, they are really pigmented and they're really good shadows. And that packaging just broke. I mean, yeah, the packaging isn't great, but the shadow is good. So anyway, you can take a fluffy brush and add the crease color. You can add this one right here. It's really pretty too. Pick some up and start building up on the outer V and bring it in. Towards the crease. Like that. If your colors start to look muddy, you can go ahead and change your brush or just wipe it off like I'm doing. And continue to blend. Right on the edges. I'm just going to pick up this um, color on the bottom. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And put it right on the outer V. And blend that inwards. Just to add a little more definition and make the look a little more interesting like that just add it right there stick it on just like that and then start blending it again I feel like it's looking muddy so I'm going to wipe my brush and blend. Now we need to highlight and I'm going to take this top color right here and just put it on my brow bone. And, eh, this isn't the best highlight color. But I only wanted to use this palette, so we're going to stick with it. You have to add a lot, but... Uh, looks good. You can see a little shimmer right there. You have to, like, stamp it on since it doesn't have good pigmentation, but you know what? It's a highlight, so I guess it's supposed to be a little sheer. Alright, so take that same brow bone color and pop it in the inner corner. Just for that little pop of highlight. This green right here. It's a really pretty sage type green. So I'm going to pick that up on an angle brush. And I'm going to... Sweep that along my lower lash line. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I don't want it so packed up there. I do want to smudge it downwards a little more. Just so that it'll show better. 
And that noise you hear, that clicking noise, you hear it? That's my ceiling fan. It's not the camera or anything. <laughs> um, all right, and um, if you wanted to, you can use this color right here as your eyeliner. Um, but let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do that today. I'm going to just swipe off my angle brush, the same brush I used, and I'm going to pick up some of that definer color, and I'm going to run that across the top of my lash line as close as I can. And this is just going to make our eyelashes look a bit thicker. At first, what I like to do is um, like tap it along the lash line just to put the, deposit the color. And then I'll try and like run the brush along the top to thicken it up. But I am not very good at eyeliner. And I really like it. I'm not done yet. Um, I do want to brighten up the inner rim. Um, you can use a white pencil if you want to, but I feel like it's a little too harsh. This is NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the color white. Um, I feel like it's a little bit harsh. You can get the Rimmel, um, the Rimmel one. I know Rimmel makes one that's a little bit of a, a skin color, a nudie color. But I'm going to use this uh, Stila one in the color topaz and I'm going to run it along my inner waterline. And next I am going to curl my lashes. Just curl them a little bit. I'm going to use uh, Maybelline's Mega Plush Volume Express. First. Alright, I'm going to use a little bit of this on my lower lash line as well. Just a little bit. And next, I'm going to put on the top of that the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Alright, and um, just a quick uh, tutorial using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette which I really, really like. I think it's really, really affordable. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!